So the much anticipated 1.09 balance update is finally here and unfortunately it's not as big as everyone hoped it would be. So back in the 1.08 update Namco did tease that they will bring a huge balance update to nerf the higher tier characters such as Dragonov, Nina, Alisa etc. Now the update does nerf these characters but like not to the degree that everyone expected them to be nerfed. Like these characters are still very very strong after this balance update like it's not it's not anything like these nerfs are honestly just a scratch to all of these characters so as usual with every update as we've seen with Tekken community comes a massive massive drama this has gotten everyone talking again everyone is complaining about Tekken 8 again everyone is compla complaining about Tekken 8 versus Tekken 7 again so we'll break it down let's start let's first start with a brief summary of the balance update so Dragonov was expected to be nerfed super hard in this update but of course he was just given a little leg wound they reduced the damage on down 2 they made back for 3 a little bit more stable they nerfed the war splat off of quarter circle forward 4 I think uh, apologies guys if I'm wrong I haven't really updated my game right um monster hunter beta is out right now so I've been playing that the whole day actually I actually plan to take a break from content for like four days until the beta is done but of course the taken in me wants to talk about this damn game because I love it so damn much okay so all of these updates like all of these nerfs are pretty good but it barely scratches the surface but like Dragonov needs to be hit a little bit harder and Namco do know that this character has been a problem since launch bro like since launch Dragonov is still at the top and I don't know what's holding them back to really nerfing this character to the ground I don't understand this is nothing QCF4 is a very good start, but it still hits grounded, the range is still absurd, it still needs to be hit a little bit more. Stuff like back, back 4 2 needs to be unsafe, right? But it's a good start. But at this point, we needed this character to be nerfed. It's gone on for too long. What's really frustrating is the fact that if you main low tier characters and you play a lot of ranked, like you know me guys, you know my characters, they are not that strong. So if you play such characters and you keep running into these fucking Dragonovs, these Yoshis, these Ninas, these Jeans, bro, like it's just so frustrating. And it's been, it's been what, 9 months now? 11 months? Like Namco, please, please just pull the trigger on some of these characters, right? Alisa barely got touched, just turned forward 2, forward 2. 1 to like minus 12 they nerfed Heiachi's warrior's instinct which is really really good because that mod is really broken and that's something i'll talk about in this video as well like why characters some characters have like extra power outside of hit i don't know why namco are making that a habit you know so yeah we'll break it down boys we'll break it down so overall the balance update is just nothing this barely scratches the surface of which characters need to be nerfed and it's frustrating like i said People that main low to mid tier characters and you play a lot of ranked, it's a struggle. It's very, very annoying. The TWT finals are literally one month away in December, right? And the fact that they haven't really gone for a big balance update to look at the likes of Yoshi as well, Jin, I don't understand. And this is why the community is very frustrated right now because this doesn't change the meta at all. Everyone stays the same. Every top two characters stays top two. Every top, every bottom two characters stays bottom two, right? At this point. And it's been 11 months, guys, which really sucks. So the balance update is very mediocre and the community is pissed. So just to show you guys a bit of the frustrations of the community, let's take a look at some Twitter posts, starting with this one from Falcon Joker, who is a godlike thing player. So he actually said, if Alisa, Drag, Nina, Yoshi, Kuma, Shaheen and Lo don't get nerfed tomorrow then that's a red flag and surprise surprise none of these characters have been nerfed or at least just a few of them have just barely been tapped right all these characters joker mentions you would argue do need some nerfs like shaheen and law so i heard some people complain about shaheen law and a lot of complaints about kuma recently as well so aslan replied to this particular post saying seriously nerf heihachi and Jin. heihachi's um hit smash 50 at the wall is ridiculously strong ridiculously broken which i do agree like Steve hit smash 50 50 he, he gets an 1 1 2 so he gets a 2 2 follow up after guard break but he actually gets a 1 1 2 that was plats like why the double star what's the double standard here why can't Steve get a wall after a guard break right like these kind of things right he also says why is Jin's 2 1 only minus 3 with the mid say follow up when Azucina's 2 1 is minus 7 Jin's up forward also should be minus 10, just like things up forward 2, which I do agree as well. I've talked about Jin 2 and being a problem. Things up forward 2 is unsafe, but Jin's 
up for a two is safe so what's a double standard what's the idea behind that then we have another post here from spag the goat he says the best nerfs are those which give characters clear weaknesses that can be exploited and have to be worked around by the players right now the reason the top five are top five is because those weaknesses are not apparent on top of being oppressive as fuck for example i think it was beautiful when ni picked lily to combat could dance the virgin taken seven that's a lot better than picking a top five and ruin it running with it this is completely true the top five characters are so strong they are so oppressive and have so oppressive and have very little weaknesses like alisa in tekken 7 was she could not easily make a comeback in tekken 7 because she didn't really have big laws or hard hitting mids or moves like that but like in tekken 7 you just have chainsaw mode do some massive amounts of chip damage she has a chainsaw health suit now like these things dude i don't understand bro like it's been so long guys it's been nine months and they still don't want to put out a huge balance update so there are so many of these posts a lot of people are frustrated guys the posts go on and on but this is one aspect of what i wanted to talk, to talk about in this video the balance update is very mediocre and and honestly we expected more from namco because evo sorry take twt finals will still have a bunch of dragons bro atifs bro usan all those guys are still gonna run dragon of trust me the character is still super strong even after the qca4 nerf note was plotting and of course with every update comes Tekken drama so aslan ash made a tweet after the bars tournament he said the state of Tekken 8 is extremely volatile right now the more i play the game the more depressed i become it feels like the game has developed into a single launcher followed by 50 50 mix-ups and that's it the game needs systematic changes more than balance changes in my opinion so firstly how many times have we been here how many times has this conversation been brought up how many times has it taken been in drama due to this particular fact and people are still complaining about this i'll show a bunch of tweets on my screen because a lot of people have talked about i've stated their opinion with the likes of sonic fox to feed the x king jake or coma says it's a gambling game usan also agrees it's a very aggressive game noob friendly game pdx disagrees so not everyone is on the same page but most of the people do agree that this game is very very 50 50 heavy now again guys again the, the developers did state the fact that the game will lower the barrier entry between competitive player and casual player it's a very noob friendly game that is a reach that is very very true it's very very it's a huge fact this game is a little bit easier to get into compared to the likes of tekken 7 which brings me to the question of is tekken 8 really a better game than tekken 7 ever was because it sparks up this conversation again people are talking about how tekken 7 was a boring game to watch which is an utter and completely lie a complete lie tekken 7 was not boring to watch where did the good ass tekken come from bro good ass tekken tekken 7 this is steve hype rip hype slow slow motions bro tekken 7 brought all that shit tekken 7 was very hype to watch and tekken 7 kept getting bigger with each and every update more entrance like tekken 7 just grew exponentially from the time it launched so people saying tekken 7 was boring to watch is a complete lie they keep saying it was a backdash heavy game which is true and had a bunch of counter it tools people would just spam counter it people would not commit as much as they would in tekken 8 it was a very defensive game and it was really really boring now there are two aspects to this right tekken 7 being defensive means you have to be very careful on how you did your offense or how you played your offense you are at risk of getting countered most of the times but with tekken 8 it's a complete opposite in tekken 8 if you're being too defensive you are at a huge disadvantage you are always at an advantage if you are being aggressive and staying in your opponent's face and the thing is you can't really defend all the time in Tekken 8 because they are forced 50 50 situations that's the biggest problem with this game in my opinion forced 50 50 situations and this is dude like it's it's just like depending on how you look at it guys people do like it's just a very difficult conversation i don't know if this conversation will ever end 37 versus t8 i don't know again t8 
is helpful t8 is friendly to the beginners t7 was a legacy game so depending on how you look at it you will choose one over the other it's like taken 7 low parry was strong gave you a full combo to get to the wall war carry was insane in that game almost every character had strong magic for counter it tools you look at taken 8 everyone has 50 huty mix ups bro like steve steve my character my defensive heavy character counter it focused character was given 50 50s with guard breaks in lionheart stance you know they have a bunch of moves they can make safe from a hit smash so a hit dash sorry every unsafe move can be safe with a hit dash every character gets free plus frames plus five every character gets a free mix up after a hit smash you know so these things it's like depending on how you weigh them you choose you pick and choose your poison honestly I'm not saying Tekken 7 was perfect, I'm not saying Tekken 8 is perfect, both games have their problems, but which one is the lesser of two evils? That's the biggest question here. And I still stand by the fact that I'll take Tekken 7, honestly, I haven't felt, I, I never felt this frustrated playing ranked in Tekken, like Tekken 7 ranked, it wasn't as, frust as frustrating as Tekken 8. Tekken 8 has a very huge snowball effect, meaning you're getting hit, you get launched into setup, into hit smash, into 50-50, into guess for your life, right? It's just this noble effect that I, don't, that I don't really like. Like, most of the time, it's not really about your defense, you moving around. Like, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's a very... It's a hot topic, and people are still talking about this. And I don't think this conversation will end anytime soon. Do I think Namco will change the system mechanics? Maybe in the future? Because at the end of the day, guys, Twitter is loud. People are talking about a lot of things, and things need to be changed. Stuff like power crashes becoming safe when they absorb hit. That needs to be changed. The chip damage needs to be reworked for every character. Not every character should be able to deal massive amounts of chip damage. I think to be, it should be character specific, like Leroy, for example. You know, just a lot of things need to be addressed in this game. The game is not perfect, needs a lot of work as well. And I also mentioned stuff about install. We spoke about uh, the nerf to Hatch's Warrior's Instinct. Now, I don't get this fact that a lot of characters or some of the recent characters like Eddie, Lydia, and Heihachi have come with installs, which is a power outside of hit. I thought the whole idea of hit was to bring out the personality of the character and give them more abilities. But like now, characters are coming with abilities even outside of hit. Like what? Then give my boy Steve something outside of heat. Give my boy Lars something outside of heat, right? Give my boy Leroy Raven stuff outside of heat. Like, why does he actually, like, someone tell me, why does he actually have Warrior's Instinct? Like, what's the reason, right? Even Jin, being the main character in the game, doesn't really have some bullshit like that. Heat was given, or heat was made for that particular reason. To have that extra mechanic that brings out the personality of the character or an extra power for the character. So, this scares me because in the future, we'll see more of this, I'm guessing, right? Like, DLCs will have, like, secret installs that give them additional power outside of it, and that scares me a lot. So, again, this is a huge debate, guys. Taken 7 versus Taken 8. I don't know how you feel about the game right now. How do you feel about the balance update? What are you expecting? Are you also disappointed? We have to deal with Dragonovs and Yoshis and Ninas at the TW TWT finals as well, which just sucks entirely, right? As for me, guys, I still will play the game. I still love Tekken, but like, I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of this drama, guys. Can you get past this? Ah, like, I'm just tired. Like, Namco don't seem don't seem to want to address these issues, and it's getting frustrating. Honestly, it's getting frustrating. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired of Dragonov, bro. I'm just tired of this fucking character, man. Like, it's just too much. And the, the stupid thing is, if they nerf these characters, the game will be in a way better state. Like, just nerf the oppressive stuff. The game will be in a way, like, bring everyone down to Steve tier, to Lars tier, bro. And the game will be in a very good state. Namco do have the feedback, people are talking, but they just they just choose to be ignorant. And I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me, guys. So, anyway, now I'm ranting at this point. How do you guys feel about the update? Ah, uh, what's going on? Um, like I said, I'm taking a break right now, guys. I am playing with some Monster Hunter Wilds. The beta is up right now, and I'm so excited. I just did this video because, man, the balance update pissed me off. So, how do you feel about the game? And let me know in the comment section. So, thanks for watching. GG, my boys, and take care.